Welcome everyone to the second episode of the NASCAR vs. the RS 24 Hour Endurance Racers Tournament, which takes place on the super track of speed. In today's races, we will see some awesomely spectacular battles with some crashes and some passes. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, racing fans alike. I present to you to the next episode and stunning conclusion of this amazing tournament that we have going on. Here we can see on the scoreboard the past two racers that won in the previous episode, and we also see racers that are ready to go in today's battle. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and review some of our new racers that we have coming up. First up is a NASCAR competitor. Here's an awesome picture of Lightning McQueen right there in the front, and now on here on the back we have other cars of the same series. Let's go ahead and get him out. I present to you Jackson Storm, racing with the number 2.0 and sponsored by IGNTR. His main colors are gray and blue. This is what Jackson Storm is visioned as as a NASCAR racer. If you notice, on both sides of him, he has the Piston Cup Champion sticker placed on him. He also has this pit stop barrier. I think it looks pretty cool. What do you think? And now moving on to our competitors, we have Jackson Storm, Herb Kerbler, Chip Gearings, and Harvey Rodcap. In the front, the number 11 and the number 15 are ready to compete. And our race is off to an amazing start with Chip Gearings quickly pulling into first position as they come to that first turn. And oh wow, wow! Did you see all that contact back there at that first turn, ladies and gentlemen? Well, it looks like Harvey Rodcap was able to pull through as he makes that jump and crosses that finish line. What a great battle! We need to go back and watch all that action again with our second replay. And starting off our race, it looks like our racers are mostly starting off side by side with the number 11 starting to pull into first position with a nose dive. And oh no, it looks like Herb Kerbler starting to fall behind in fourth position as he battles it out with Jackson Storm. And then, whoa! Chip Gearings goes flying because he hits into a pillar on the interior wall. And no, there goes Jackson Storm off of the track, leaving way for Harvey Rodcap, the number 15, to go into first position as he goes down the track, rounding that second turn. Here he comes lining up for the jump, and he clears it as he crosses the finish line. Now let's go ahead and check up on our racers after that first race. Chip Gearings and Herb Kerbler and Jackson Storm are all over here at turn number one. But then way over here, across the finish line, we have our winner, Harvey Rodcap. Here are our standings after that race. Harvey Rodcap leads by three. For the second battle, Chip Gearings and Jackson Storm are in the back. And our race is off at full speed ahead with Harvey Rodcap quickly pulling into first position. Whoa! Some fancy footwork there by the number 15 as he starts to create an even bigger lead between him and Herb Kerbler. There he goes rounding the second turn and the blue-gray racer crosses the finish line. Let's check out the second replay to watch that action again. Here come our racers coming up on turn number one. It looks like the number 11 and Herb Kerbler are battling it out for that second place. And no! It looks like the number 11 has just fallen completely off the track. Wow, this is exciting stuff. Jackson Storm has stopped dead in his tracks because he's afraid to fall off too. But coming up here around the jump and he clears it, it looks like it's Harvey Rodcap crossing that finish line. And now that we better go check up on our racers after that big crash that happened at turn number one. There's Jackson Storm almost falling off the track. And then we have Herb Kerbler who stopped dead in his tracks. And then down here we have Chip Gearings who did completely fall off the track. He flipped upside down. I hope he's okay. And then across the finish line we have Harvey Rodcap. Here are our standings after that second race. And now moving on to our third race we have Herb Kerbler and Jackson Storm in the front. And immediately out of the gate, it looks like it's Herb Kerbler pulling into first position, trying to big battle it out between Jackson Storm. Whoa! A big battle ensues around turn number one, but it looks like Herb Kerbler and Jackson Storm come out victorious from that battle. Now here comes the number 20 battling it out with the four wheel drive racer, and whoa, it looks like it's all over. Let's go ahead and watch our second replay just to watch that action again. So here come our racers coming up on turn number one. Some contact in the back there between Chip Gearings and Harvey Rodcap. And then, whoa, it looks like they get spun around backwards there. And Jackson Storm comes out unscathed. Here he is 
is coming to catch up with Herb Kerbler around the second turn, and BAM! He hits him in the back there. Here he comes lining up for the jump, but no, the number 20 does not clear it. He doesn't even make the jump. He pumps on the brakes. Here, back at turn number one, we have the number 11 and 15 stuffed completely and backwards. And then back here, around the jump, we have Jackson Storm, who pumped on the brakes and didn't even clear that jump. And then we have Herb Kerbler, the number 54, across the finish line. He is the winner of this third race. Here are our standings. Harvey Rodcap leads by three. Which of these racers will win? And here come our racers out of the gate. It looks like most of them are standing out side by side. Some contact there and whoa! A huge crash back there at turn number one. It looks like it's Chip Gearings who came out of that wreck. But it looks like he's coming around the second turn. He's lighting up for that jump. But no, he did not have enough power and he falls through the crevice. Let's go ahead and watch that second replay to watch that action again. Here come our racers coming up at turn number one. Chip Gearings makes contact with Jackson Storm who pushes him over the edge of the interior wall which makes him fall off the track. The other two racers, Herb Kerbler and Harvey Rodcap have completely fallen off the track as well around turn number one but leaving way for Chip Gearings to make it through turn number two but yeah he does not have enough power to clear that jump and he falls through that crevasse. Back here we see Jackson Storm, Herb Kerbler, and Harvey Rodcap completely fallen off of the track at turn number one. And then over here across the jump in the canyon is Chip Gearings. Here are standings after that race. And leading by three is Harvey Rodcap in the lead with a total of 10 points, making him the victor of this round of races. Congratulations for moving forward to the final match. Now let's go ahead and review our next car and get on with our next round of races. Here he is in this awesome packaging. He's part of the RS24 Hour Endurance Racers. Now let's go ahead and get him out of the package. I present to you Sheldon Shifter. Racing with the number 92 and sponsored by Sputterstop. His main colors are brown and green. Here we have JD McPillar, Lightning McQueen, Ed Trunkett, and Sheldon Shifter all lined up and ready to race. And our races are off at full speed ahead with Ed Trunk and Quizley pulling into first position. JD McPillar tries to pass and he doesn't. And then, oh wow! All the racers just all of a sudden pump on the brakes. Let's check out that next replay to find out why. And here come all of our racers coming up on that first turn. The contact on the exterior wall by the number 33, leaving way for the number 4 to pass. Lenny McQueen also passes, coming into second position. But then, no, it looks like all the racers lose confidence. And back at turn number 1, it looks like we have Sheldon Shifter, Ed Trunkin, Lightning McQueen, and JD McPillar. No one has completed this race, so everyone gets one point for rounding that first turn. It's all tied up. Who will win? Sheldon Shifter and Lightning McQueen are in the front. And immediately starting off our race, it looks like Sheldon Shifter blasts off into the distance. There's some contact on the exterior wall, and no! Looks like all of our racers have fallen off the track except for Ed Trunkin. Let's go ahead and watch that second replay. In the back, we have the number four trying to get around the Rusty's racer, but he can't find that opening. Up in the front, Ed Trunkin goes to the outside to pass Sheldon Shifter, but the number 92 sees this and tries to block him, but overcompensates, leading him to crash into the exterior wall, which pushes him off the track. Here at turn number one, we have Ed Trunkin, JD McPillar, Lightning McQueen, and Sheldon Shifter. None of them reach the finish line, but they all get one point for passing turn number one. The number four and 95 are in the back. And our racers are up at full speed ahead with Ed Trunkin quickly pulling into first position. He goes to block the racers from passing him, but then he gets caught up on the interior wall. And there goes JD McPillar punching on the accelerator as he rounds the second turn. But then what's this? He starts pushing on the brakes? He doesn't make the jump. Let's go ahead and check out the second replay to find out why. Coming up on turn number one, the number 95 is in fourth position trying to catch up. Up in the front, Ed Trunkin is blocking JD McPillar and Sheldon Shifter from taking his lead. And then he goes to the inside up onto the interior wall, which slows him down because he hits a pillar. And there goes the number four passing him on the exterior side. As he rounds that second turn, he lines up for the jump, but then just doesn't try to make it. He stops before he ever jumps it. Where have the rest of our racers gone? Let's go ahead and find out where they're at. 
Back here at turn number one, we have Lightning McQueen and Sheldon Shifter. I hope Lightning McQueen's okay, because it looks like he fell off the track upside down. Then on the straightaway, we have the number 33, Ed Trunkin. And then over here, right before the jump, we have the number four, JD McPillar. Here are our standings after that third race. The number four leads by one. Who will win? And our racers are off at full speed ahead. The number 33 quickly pulls into first position. He goes to the inside to block the other racers and no! It looks like all the competitors have fallen off right there around turn number one, leaving way for Ed Trunken to round that second turn. He starts to lose power and he makes the jump and it's gonna be close! Let's check out the next replay to watch all that action again. Here come our racers coming up on that first turn. Lightning McQueen goes to the inside to try and pass the number four. Sheldon Shifter gets turned around a little bit, making him lose power and no! There goes JD McPillar and the number 92 falling off the track with Lightning McQueen stopped in his tracks, leaving way for the number 33 to round that second turn very smoothly. He loses power, but barely makes that jump. He's he gonna cross the finish line. Yes, he does, and Trunken has crossed the finish line. Let's go ahead and check up on our racers back here at turn number one. We have Lightning McQueen, JD McPillar, and Sheldon Shifter. I hope the number four is okay because he's flipped over upside down. But then the number 33, Ed Trunken, is over here across the finish line. He is now in the lead by three points, making him the victor of this round of races, which he means he joins our competitors in the final match. And now, the moment that you've all been waiting for, the Grand Championship Round, to decide who will take home the trophy and title of Grand Champion. In the front is Lightning McQueen and Chase Racelet. And our race is off at full speed head with the number 95 quickly pulling into first position. He goes to the outside and there go all the other racers passing him. And whoa, it looks like a racer just fell off the track on the inside, leaving way for Chase Racelet to take first position as he rounds that second turn. Where is Ed Trunken way back there rounding the second turn just now? We need to check out the second replay to find out what just happened. And here come our racers coming up on that first turn. Mighty McQueen goes to the outside, leaving way for Harvey Rodcap. Chase, Bracelet, and Ed Trunken all to pass him simultaneously. And no, there he goes off of the side. And wow! There goes Harvey Rodcap off the inside wall, leaving way for Chase Bracelet to take his place in first position on that straightaway. Here comes the number 24 and the number 33 rounding that second turn. And then Chase Bracelet makes that jump and crosses the finish line. Let's go ahead and check up on our other racers. The number 95, Lightning McQueen, is way over here at turn number one. And then over here at checkpoint number two, we have the number 33, Ed Trunken. And then all the way over here, flipped over off of the track, is Harvey Rodcap. I really do hope that he's okay since he's flipped upside down. And then over here, across the finish line, we have the number 24, Chase Racelet. Here are our standings after that first race. It's still anyone's game, who will win? And with our race just beginning, our racers shoot out of the gate there. All of them starting mostly out side by side, and whoa, whoa, whoa! A huge crash happening back there at turn number one with Chase Racelet at number 24 coming around that second turn now very smoothly. He clears that jump backwards, and then he skids out. Let's go ahead and check out our instant replay to watch that action again. And here come our racers coming up on that first turn. Contact between all four of them, which, whoa, it looks like it's Bins Chase Racelet around and no! It flips Lightning McQueen over off of the track, leaving Ed Trunken and Harvey Rodcap back there dead in their tracks. But what's this? Chase Racelet, the number 24, keeps on going. He makes that jump backwards and then he skids out across the finish line. Let's go ahead and check up on our racers there back at turn number one. We have the number 15, Ed Trunken, and the number 95 back there at turn number one. And then over here across the finish line, we have Chase Racelet. Now let's go ahead and look at our standings after that second race. The number 24 leads by five. The number 33 and 15 are in the front. And starting off our race, it looks like our front two racers are starting out side by side. Whoa! The number 15 looks like he pushed off Ed Trunken off of the track, 
But Diddy, we have to check out our second replay to find out. But right now, Harvey Rodcap is going, going, and going for it. Now let's go ahead and check out our second replay. In the back, we can see the number 95 in a big battle with the number 24 to stay out of fourth position. But ultimately, it seems like he loses. And no, there goes Ed Trunken being pushed off the track by the number 15. But what's this? It looks like Chase Racelet also fell off the track, leaving way for Lightning McQueen to pull into second position. But now... Harvey Rodcap is coming around that second turn. He clears the jump, and then what's this? He crosses the finish line. Let's go ahead and check up on our other racers here at turn number one. There's Ed Trunken falling over off of the track, along with Chase Racelet, and then Lightning McQueen is still on the track around that first turn. Now, moving all the way over here across the finish line, we have Harvey Rodcap, the number 15, who has crossed it. And here are our standings after that third race. Who do you think will win? Let me know in the comments below. And our race is off at full speed ahead with Harvey Rodcap quickly pulling into first position. Here they come around that first turn and oh no, there goes Ed Trunken being stopped by a pillar. It's Harley McQueen now in first position. How on earth did that happen? We'll have to check out our second replay to find out. So let's go ahead and get on into our next replay. And starting off our race, it looks like it's Harvey Rodcap pulling into first place. And then in the back, we have Ed Trunken and Chase Racelet battling it out for last position. And then the Lightning McQueen tries to go to the inside, but swings too wide to pass the number 15. And no, there goes Chase Racelet flipped over off the track. It's the number 95. No, it's the 15. No, it's Lightning McQueen who's passed Harvey Rodcap. Rodcap now and is in first position. He makes the jump. Will he be able to cross the finish line first? Yes, he does! Ladies and gentlemen, what an exciting battle that we've just seen here. Let's go ahead and check up on the rest of our racers. Back here at turn number one, we have Ed Trunken and then Chase Racelet flipped over. I hope that he's okay. And then way over here across the finish line, we have Harvey, Rodcap, and then way over here, we have the number 95, Lightning McQueen, who crossed the finish line first. Congratulations to winning that very close battle with Harvey Rodcap. Here are our standings after that fourth race. And now, it's time to name our champion. The winner with 10 points is none other than Chase Racelet himself. Congratulations. And now let's give another huge congratulations to our runner-ups. And also, a big congratulations to all of the racers that participated in today's races. Here are the cars that we reviewed in today's video. First up, we have Jackson Storm, the number 20. And then we have Sheldon Shifter, the number 92. Which racer was your favorite? Go ahead and let me know in the comments below. You can either leave the name or the number. Oh, and here comes Crew Chief Tomator coming down the track. I guess he wanted a chance. Will he make it to the end? Thank you everyone for watching today's video. I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and remember to share with your friends. And if you haven't already, go ahead and check out other videos on this channel. And in the meantime, keep racing.